What's going on everybody? It's your favorite trucker KC. I'm out here at the petrol truck stop just outside of Santanella. And today, this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of my truck Big Blue. So, so this is Big it. Blue. 2019 Volvo VNR. First, let me start out with saying that this truck has all LED headlights. Excellent visibility at nighttime. So that includes the daytime light there turn signals, the low beams, the high beams, and the fog lights. Fantastic stuff. She is chromed out. It's a little bit dirty, but she's chromed out. This, first thing first, is the DEF tank. DEF stands for diesel exhaust fluid. And what that does is for the emissions of the vehicle to help it be more efficient and the fumes coming out of the truck aren't so toxic for the environment. This truck has two fuel tanks. They, these tanks are 75 gallon tanks on both sides, so that's a lot of fuel. These are the airline and the electrical line. So this red line is for the supply line or the emergency line, which supplies the trailer with its air to release the brakes and whatnot. This is the electrical line to give the trailer its lights which is extremely dirty uh, give the trailer its lights and whatnot this blue one is for the actual braking or the uh, service line what this line does is when you hit the brakes this is the line responsible for actually applying the brakes this filter is for that pump there which blows the flower out of the trailers for our pneumatic trailers when we have flour in its raw form, instead of being packaged, this will actually blow the flour out of that trailer. I don't know how to use them or how they work because they haven't been trained on it yet, but I know that's exactly what it does. All right, it's a single exhaust setup, not a dual exhaust. And obviously I have my bike on there for obvious reasons to go bike riding or whatever. These trucks are running with Super singles, as they're Reasons called. We run super singles are to help distribute the weight on the trailer. Since flour is so heavy, we need to be able to distribute the weight a little bit better to stay within regulations. This truck has airbag suspensions as well as leaf springs. All right, it is a six by four. What that means is it has six wheels, but only the four in the back are driven. So I just say it's four wheel drive. This here is the fifth wheel. This is what connects the trailer with the truck. It's a little thing called a king pin, which is a piece of metal, and it locks into here. And then these teeth lock in to, to basically secure the trailer and to pull it. All right. It's the other tank. These are actually storage boxes. Let me show you what's on this side. There's a little release on the inside here. This little string, which needs to be pulled in a doable motion here. There we go. So on this side, I have my goodies. My favorite drink in the world. Three different flavors, mango, and the strawberry banana, which is my absolute favorite. So I have these currents here and I have water. Never want to run out of water ever, ever, ever. So always. This is the HVAC system for the truck to supply the truck with air conditioning and whatnot. But that's on this side. The other side is extremely junky, so I'm not even going to show you that. But there's two of them. This is not just a cooler. It is actually a refrigerator. I will show you that as soon as I get inside the truck, but that is a refrigerator. All right, she has a 12 liter or D13 straight six engine. I'm gonna go ahead and open this hood. All right, this is the engine, obviously. It's, like I said, a D13, makes 425 horsepower and about 1,700 pound-feet of torque. Big numbers, big truck, only makes sense. 
Now, it's just the fact that this is a Volvo engine because most trucks, like everything else, their engines are built by someone else and put in. But Volvo builds their engines in-house. All right? And it is a straight six, not a V6, not a V8, V10, V12. Straight six with a turbocharger. All right, in the driver's seat. I'm gonna start out with the gauge cluster because a lot of these gauges, most people don't know what they are. So starting with this one here, the turbo, that is a gauge to show how much pressure is going to the turbo. So as you accelerate, it's probably not gonna do it now because it's in park or neutral. Now nah, it's not going up. But as you're driving, it shows how much pressure is going to the turbo. The next one here is for the death tank. I already explained what that is, so that's the fluid level there. This is obviously for the diesel. There are tank, two tanks on there, so it just shows as one. This is for the applied pressure on the brakes. So when I hit the brake, it shows how much pressure I'm, I'm putting onto the brakes. Obviously the RPM, this is obviously for the coolant. That is for the oil, oil pressure. These are the air tanks on the trucks. There's two tanks, the primary and the secondary. They always wanna be above 100 PSI. If they drop below 100 PSI, the, what's called the governor will turn on and will supply the truck with more power, which more air. Everything on this truck is nearly with air. Nearly everything on this truck is uh, powered by air. This, this, them the steering wheel the transmission the brakes the seats everything is on air so those are really important to monitor and the sensor here let me see if i can get some better there we go i have to close the shade there so this sensor screen this helper screen here is the trip computer so what I have it set on right now is the trip MPG or, or for this loop, this trip, I've been averaging about eight and a half or well, 8.3 miles to the gallon, which is for a truck pretty good. But I've been driving without a trailer on unladen and then with the empty trailer when I dropped it off. So that's that. Uh, this is control with this little dial here and these three buttons at the bottom which I'll get into in a little bit so let me show you here this is the fuel economy showing how many uh, miles to empty how many gallons remaining the volt meter this uh, is actually configurable to show a variety of different uh, gauges these are the air pressures in conjunction with these. If you want to see an actual graph bar, this is the actual trip computer with, for trip one. So what I do with these is trip one and trip two. So trip one I use for the day that I'm actually driving. So what I mean by that is I would use this for the actual day to, my, to track what I do in the day and then trip two I would use this for what I do in the actual week so that's that this is the region page now funny story with this truck I have never had to request a region because it's never needed but this truck has been to the dealership to be serviced probably twice since I've had it so I can only assume that they did the region if needed or forced the region or whether the, whatever the case is. So that's that. But the region, I'm sorry. The region is in conjunction with the death tank to help the truck be a, help the truck be a little bit more efficient. If there's anything in the exhaust system, it will basically rev the engine to expel all of whatever's inside the exhaust all right so these things at the bottom this is the gear selection the actual gears in 
that there is for the eco roll which i will get into those little switches in the moment and this is for the engine brake now that brings me to this one the engine brake what is the engine brake best way i can describe that I'm sure people hear fire trucks when they slow down, especially the older fire trucks. Even some old school, long nosed Peterbilts, when you hear them coming off the highway and they make that loud guttural noise and sounds like the truck is about to break down or something. It's not about to break down, that's the engine brake. What it does is it uses the power from the engine to stop the truck. So instead of always having to rely on the mechanical mechanical air brakes which would put a strain and wear those brakes out on constant usage the engine brake will supplement the braking system of the actual truck so there's three different settings well technically i say four different settings here well five different settings here it's completely off which that o is kind of faded out automatic one two and three levels and then this b is to put it into its absolute lowest setting so say i'm going down here or something i want to start braking but i don't want to use my actual brakes i just flip that down and typically it will drop like two gears and then do its thing and just start slowing the truck down without having to use the brakes so that's that this is the windshield wiper stock they are actually automatic windshield wipers so if I just hit that button, it'll detect any moisture or any water or whatever the case is and turn on. They're also intermittent, which is this little dial here. And Yes, they work. I would hope so. All right, on this side, obviously we know what this is, turn signals. There are actually one touch signals, which I absolutely love. So, love that. This is the headlight controls. So they're also automatic as well. Uh, this is for the marker lights actually on, on with the high beam, I mean the fog lights and then automatic, full, full automatic. The hazard switch, this is for controlling the brightness of the gauge cluster, air vent. These are for the lights on the back of the truck to be able to hook up the airlines or whatnot. The key is on the left side of the truck as to aid in turning the truck on in the morning or whenever you're about to start your day. Instead of having to climb all the way into the truck onto the right side, you could just turn it on from the outside of the truck. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so as you heard that hissing also powered by air so that air gauge is really important this is the pto so what that does is when you hit this switch you're going to hear the truck retard a little bit if you hear that noise there so what that does is sends the power to the the pumps on the back so instead of the power going to the wheels it goes to the pump in order to blow out flour and whatnot coming on on to this side the air brakes this is for the parking brake this is for the trailers this is for the sleeper the fan in the back the air conditioner this one turns on and off the light you probably hear it beeping these are auxiliary switches i don't have anything set for these yet but maybe in the future never know so this i could probably close this back now so get a little bit better lighting in here uh, this here is for the four-wheel drive system. So basically you interlock this whenever I'm going off-road or under some rocks or gravel, whatever the case is, I need a little bit more traction or I need them to all spin at the same time instead of one axle spinning fast and then the other one spinning not at all. They all spin at the same time. So that's what that's for. This is the traction control system. This truck has traction control. Awesome. Most trucks do not, or older trucks don't really have traction control. You just need to know how to put your foot on them, I guess, really. This helps. This is for the fifth wheel to make it slide when it needs to be adjusted for like smaller traders like that one there. The fifth wheel needs to be all the way back so it doesn't hit the legs. 
all right so that's what that's for this is heal assist what heal assist is a lot of people don't know that cars have this so say you're sitting on the hill and you the light turns green or whatever the case is you need to start driving you take your foot off the brake and you put it on the gas old cars or stick shifts they don't really have that this basically holds the car in place for like five or ten seconds so you can take your foot off the brake and onto the gas so that's exact that's what this is for turn it off I really don't know what instances you would really need to turn this off because I'll just keep it on because why not uh, this one is for lowering the air suspension it's to drop a trailer or whatever the case is you need to get underneath the trailer which is extremely low that will drop the airbags this is the eco roll so I'm going to try to simplify this as much as easily as possible because I had to research this when I first got the truck. Basically, this is to help the truck be more efficient on the highway. So when it's going uphill and then it detects that the hill is about to end and about to go downhill, it will put the truck into neutral on its own to help it coasts up the hill and then coasts down the hill without having to use any power, which is extremely, extremely smart. Why use any power going downhill? We can just let the gravity push the truck downhill or push whatever. I use the front side. Since I found out about this, I've been using that in my car. Not the actual button. I just put the car in neutral. Like when I'm going downhill, just put the car in neutral. When I get down the hill, then put it back in drive. Set off. The air conditioner controls have a calendar here. Uh, these gauges. This is for the oil temperature. This is the exhaust temperature. These are for the hubs or the rear axles. These are the temperatures of the inner hubs. So they don't make sure that they're not overheating. I've seen some people they turn red hot the actual wheel the bearings they turn red hot so that's pretty cool to have that i have this here for my tablet when i want to have my music on or whatever the case is i use my tablet and not my phone the phone is for the gps or boss calls me or whatever the case is uh this truck has a bluetooth system also front auxiliary rear aux cord um, USB as well FM AM and weather radio so basically it would tell you what the weather is like in different parts of the uh, different parts of the country this is for the transmission it is not a stick it is a automated manual so what an automated manual is basically it's still a stick but instead of having to shift the truck does it all on, on its own that's not to get confused with an actual automatic because it still sounds like a stick when it's actually driving so yeah I, I don't know how to explain that any better because that's how Volvo explains it in a way so the only thing I'm my complaint with this system or with this transmission is that I can't really change the gears on my own there's two buttons here or that should be here to go up or down on the gear only thing I can do is lock it into manual mode and that will especially going downhill locking into manual mode prevents the truck from speeding up or going up a gear to end up speeding up again all right these cup holders are so awesome because you can just pull it out and put it somewhere else so I love that it's just hard sometimes to get back in place get in there well we're just gonna leave that there I'll put that together later this cord speaking of which this truck has so many power ports it is ridiculous this is the cigarette lighter this is USBs there's a cigarette lighter up here for some reason this is for the lane departure warning 
So this truck has land departure warning and automatic cruise control. So say I'm going through a construction zone or something, I need to be able to turn it off so it would stop beeping whenever I go over a lane or something like that. Actually, let me come back to the steering wheel. Sorry. On this side of the, the steering wheel, this is for the flashing the headlights to let someone over or basically to let them know hey you can come over or whatever this is for saying thank you this you see the trucks are doing this a lot uh their marker lights or their brake lights that they, they would start flickering that's to let you know or let someone else know or let another truck know thank you for letting me over or to get your attention or whatever the case is like i said this truck has automatic cruise control let me go back so when it's on basically that radar cruise control it's the same system that are, that is in cars it would detect the vehicle in front of you if it starts going slower than what you have your set speed at the truck will slow down automatically and then speed up when the car speeds up or gets out of your way or whatever the case is so that's these buttons here and then this one i call it the buffer so say i have that cruise control set at 60 i can set it so when i'm going down here or the truck just starts going faster it will be a, a certain speed at i say 63 64 when it detect the truck detects that it's at that speed it will start to slow down so it doesn't go too fast basically this is for the bluetooth system the, obviously the answer the call hang up the phone to mute the system altogether. then volume control is here this is for changing this changing forward backward and changing the actual station or changing the source these buttons here are for that screen there so that's the and and that's the horn there and then instead of having a string here at the top the horn is right there just awesome love it so coming back to the power points this power point i have plugged in for my refrigerator why do i call it a refrigerator because it is actually a refrigerator there's a fan on this thing there's an igloo 28 quart cooler i just took these things out of the room uh my juices and my lean cuisine which i'm going to go warm up and just after this video because i'm getting a little hungry love apple juice i only drink juice not soda soda is bad for you stop drinking soda all right uh face mask there literally it is a face mask or face shield sorry uh protect yourself during these times people please wear your mask stay safe all right i've got some banana chips there just random stuff that uh, this is obviously the tripod for when I make the videos So that's that is An excessive amount of Kearns cans because like I said, I love Kearns. This is just from actually that is from last week as well I didn't empty it. So definitely need to empty it when I get back to LA Trash can well trash bag whatever the case is now Let's come up here To the cubbies before I go to the back this up here i have my back brace and my shoulder straightener my posture corrector i'm sorry posture corrector so basically you wear that and it straightens your posture or whatnot it's pretty good because I, I say i've been walking a little bit straighter as of late up here i have hand sanitizer please wash your hands another hand sanitizer which is crappy i do not like this because it really it feels like water it's like not yeah don't get liquid hand sanitizer people this is air freshener black ice yes love black ice we've got my flashlight here which is extremely awesome all right we've got medicine there a little booklets for my glasses here a pair of shades i have so many shades to quote rick ross you would think i had a lazy eye 
shades for days. And there's some red ones somewhere in the back. This is the shade. So people don't look into your truck. All right. Yeah. Actually, let me speak on this. This is a ex extra sun visor. So if, if the sun is a little bit too far down for this little visor here, it's actually two visors. This one does not move. It stays in place. So this is for the other side for the door. So this one is for the sun comes down too too far. Let's put that flip that down and block out the sun. For my pins, try to stay organized as possible. This here is where a CB radio would go. If I had one, I'm considering getting one because uh yeah, it'll be nice to have one to know what's going on with traffic or whatever the case is, because there's been some instances that I have been stopped dead still and I would really come back to the sleeper just to watch a movie or something while traffic is doing whatever it does i put my paperwork up here well the time sheets and whatnot they go up there that's that my toolbox ish i have my this is a super universal service kit so basically it has the sockets and bits for screwdrivers or whatever the case is. Super awesome. And it is also ratcheting, obviously. So that is awesome. These are the for the truck. This is the truck spart here, except for this. This is a antenna for the TV until I realized the truck had its own antenna for the TV. This is for the truck, like I said, the uh, documents and registration and all that good stuff. Up here, let me open this, see a little bit. I have my toiletries, um, mouthwash, lotion, uh, body spray, truck spray. This is awesome, I love this too. So when I run out of that, which is already kind of running out, uh yeah so let's go on on to the back of the truck i was watching some movies before i started this video and the reason the tv is sitting like that instead of on here the screws on the back of the tv like actually let's show you there they got messed up so i don't know if chalk it down to the cheap tv or what the case is but i'm definitely ordering another one because putting the tv here like that not an inconvenience per se but it just looks no I, I don't like it you know so the way i have this set up this aux cord is going to the front of the truck to play the tv also i have this cord here which is the hdmi to usb for the phone so basically when you plug this into your phone it will show well i can't do it now because it's on the dvd player but it will show what your screen it will project your screen if it's not a smart tv if you don't have a smart tv i highly suggest getting one of these if you want to watch netflix or whatever you could just plug your phone into the tv and do what it do the bed obviously it's a twin size all right put my bag there now these cabinets let me start on this side this is the actual closet have hangers in there for heavy jacket which i really don't need in this type of weather as you saw earlier it's about 110 109 degrees out here so really haven't really needed this jacket for quite some time have a little cubby here to put shorts and work shirts and whatnot then this jacket is more the one i use on a regular basis on cold nights or cold mornings so use that uh these here instead of actual windows they are vents to put air into the cab or whatever the case is this is the control panel so basically almost everything up there on that screen 
I could control back here the volume. I could change the whatever source I'm listening to. I could turn the screen on and off. This is for turning on and off the lights. Also, obviously, for the air conditioner. And there is actually a panic button here. That panic button actually has to do with the alarm on the truck. Which is not surely an alarm, but basically when you hit this, say you have an emergency, a medical emergency or something, you hit this button and the truck starts blaring the horn and turning on and off the lights to get someone's attention. So that's what that is. This is for the fan speed. This actually is a fuse box. So, for all the accessories that are in the back. Obviously, notebook more shades which actually need to be up there all right this is the drawer i try to put my condiments in here or uh forks and knives and whatnot remotes here i actually had a lighting system in here but it came down because it was cheap so i'm gonna have to go ahead and invest in some real lights but yeah i had lights going all through here so we'll definitely be getting some more of those. This is my goodie box. Pop tarts, oatmeal for the mornings for breakfast. Uh, I've got paper plates and bowls in there as well. As that, and then up here, I have my hat. I have uh, some coloring books in here. I love the color, I love art. And then up here, I'll have movies for the TV. And party trick. Now, remember I said the other side of the toolbox was junky? This is what I mean, junky. So, this is, is the easy way to access uh, the toolboxes underneath the truck instead of having to go all the way out and then accessing them. You can just lift the bed up. So, that's that's that yeah that's pretty much it guys this, this here is the Qualcomm this helps us stay compliant with DOT regulations and hours of service DOT stands for Department of Transportation excuse me uh, so it basically helps us track our hours our mileage our workload whatever we're doing for the day uh, also showed us messages from our dispatcher whatever the case is our vehicle inspections i haven't done mine yet because i haven't been pulled off yet so nor are my own duty so i'm not going to bother with that right now so that is what this is for all right guys that is it for this tour of big blue the volvo vnr 2019 uh if you have any questions any comments leave a comment below right there my little section or maybe I'll, i need to come down here all right <laughs> um let your friends know your favorite trucker casey is now on youtube and not just instagram you want to follow me on instagram it is your fave trucker f-a-v not f-a-v-e your fave trucker by itself uh yeah take catch you guys on the flip side